Food lovers from coast to coast have savored Ruth Reichel's restaurant reviews and culinary insights for nearly 50 years. The trailblazing food writer first made a name for herself working at the Los Angeles Times before taking her expertise east to the New York Times. Reichel took over as editor-in-chief of Gourmet Magazine in 1999. In her new book, Save Me the Plums, my gourmet memoir. Reichel opens up about her decade running gourmet. Good morning. Good morning. I know it took you a long time to figure out what you wanted to write in this book. Um, what happened when you started and you sat down writing? Well, at first, um, I thought I wanted to write a really breezy book. I mean, it was like, for me, it was a Cinderella story, right? I was an ordinary person, took the subway to work, uh, worried about money, and suddenly I am in this la-la land of drivers and a clothing allowance and hair and makeup people and, you know, I, a magazine editor. A, a magazine, and it was yeah, so... Editor-in-chief. editor yeah. yes. yes. And I thought I was going to write the Cinderella story and about all the colorful characters mm -hmm. at Condé Nast. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> as I got deeper into it, I thought, I really want this book to be useful okay. to people. And so let me really talk about what it feels like to learn to be a leader. Mm. You know, I mean, I had never met, I mean, here I am, I'm a writer, right? I sit in my little cubicle, and suddenly I've got 65 people who work for me. Including Boys. one of your employees that says, do you know what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, early on at the job, he says, do you know what you're doing with such and, disdain? And I didn't. Yeah. And the staff knew that I didn't know. I mean, you know, the ordinary language of magazines was like Martian to me. Uh -huh. I mean, they used words that... I have no idea what they're and talking so, about. Mm -hmm. So, Ruth, what was the skill? Because writers are solitary people. So how? what was the key mm -hmm. for you? Mm -hmm. The key for me was suddenly realizing I don't know everything, and I'm going to hire people who are smarter than I am mm -hmm. and let them have their head. Yeah. And that, for me, the key to management is find people who are really good and trust them, and that your job is to run interference for them. Yeah, I mean, it's funny that at one point somebody told you that you're, you're, you're actually too accessible. But you know what I think is interesting is your journey as a person. At eight years old, you see a gourmet magazine, there's a swordfish on it, and you see that magazine and it just sparks something in you. And I wonder what that was, because you never thought that eating food, writing about food could be a living. You just saw it as a hobby. What did you see as a little kid? So it, it was an extraordinary story by a really great writer from the 40s, actually. But you were eight, though. I was eight. Yeah. But I read it, and I suddenly saw that food could be a magic door, that everything I'd ever read was fairy tales. You know, there was always, like, some kind of magic thing that happened. And in this story, suddenly everyday objects yeah. are wondrous. Yeah. And I suddenly saw, oh, if I pay attention to what I'm eating, um, I can have extraordinary experiences here on Earth. It doesn't have to be fiction. And from that moment on, my life changed, where I really saw that paying attention to yeah. ordinary things was a way to have a great life. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. takes pictures of their food now. You think it's a good idea? In less than I, 10 seconds. I don't, <laughs> you actually. Don't. Oh. Um, I think you should oh. eat it, you should enjoy it, you should be in the moment instead of, and then you're taking a picture of it, you're distancing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Food is all about love Thank and you, community Ruth. and gathering around in restaurants. You've, you've reminded us of that. Thank you so much. Ruth's book Ruth. is Thank called you. Save Me the Plums. There's a backstory on that. It's on sale today, wherever you like to buy your books.